<laughs> Time now for Call for Action. Are you wondering what to do with some unused prescription drugs? Well, mm -hmm. if you no longer need them, mm -hmm. you might want to consider donating or recycling them. Well, Karen Stiles from our Call for Action office joins us with more information. Now, what kind of drugs can one donate or and who can receive them? Well, if you have leftover drugs that were used to treat cancer, you can donate them to a number of drug repository programs throughout the state. Many of these programs located within medical centers and pharmacies will then provide them to people who cannot afford the cost of some of these medications. But there are several conditions that must be met, such as the drugs must not be expired, must be in the original unopened packaging, and must be accompanied by a donor form. All right, how do people get more information about these places where you can go to drop off the drugs? The Wisconsin Department of Health Services has some great information about these programs and repositories on their website. And we have a link to their website in the call for action section of TMJ4.com. This is an interesting topic, Karen. So where can people, uh, if they can't donate their medications, what do they do then? Well, a number of local police departments have medication drop-off boxes in their lobbies. People can anonymously drop off prescriptions and over-the-counter drugs, including pet medications, inhalers, and liquid medications that are in leak-proof containers. However, there are some limitations, such as no illegal drugs or creams or ointments or needles or syringes. And for more information about what can be dropped off, contact your local police department. Charles and Shannon. All right. All right. Good to know. Need help with a consumer problem? Our call for action volunteers are ready. All you have to do is call the number right there or request help online. Just click on the icon on the front page of TMJ4.com. Well, let's talk.